Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm... If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about a foundation from MAC. And it's an older foundation, it's been out for a couple years now, but I haven't reviewed it yet, and it's called Matchmaster. The color I got it in is a 9.0. And in the Studio Fix Fluid, I wear a number NW48. So this is the color that I felt went best with my skin tone. This is what the bottle looks like. It is a liquid foundation, and it has a little pump at the top, which is nice because not all of them come with a little pump, or sometimes you have to buy them separately. Now the interesting thing about this foundation is that it's supposed to sort of merge with your skin complexion to give you the perfect foundation color. So that's why it's called a match master, it's supposed to be matching with your skin. So that piece of technology is very cool. Um, this has SPF of 15 in it, so it does have SPF. And the bottle is 1.2 fluid ounces, so it's a little bit bigger than some of your other foundations. sometimes. I think most of them are like 1.0, so this is 1.2. So I'm going to go ahead, prime my face, and put it on and show you what it looks like on my skin. So that's what the foundation looks like on my skin. I think the foundation is really good. It covers very evenly. Um, I think it's like medium to full coverage. So it definitely does cover up all of your blemishes. Um, because I have a pimple on my face, I had to put a concealer over it and I didn't have any concealer so I put a foundation stick over it just a little bit before I put the actual foundation on. However, it does cover very, very nicely and it does look very flawless. When I've worn this foundation in the past, people have always asked me what foundation I'm wearing. I noticed that when I wear this particular foundation. In my opinion, it is a little bit heavy. It's not as heavy as the Studio Fix Fluid, but I do think it's a little bit heavier um, on the skin, and maybe that is because of the kind of coverage you're getting. So um, I definitely do feel like I have on makeup, but it's not like irritating or anything like that. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel itchy or anything weird like that. It just feels like I definitely do have some foundation on and that depends on how much you put on your face. The finish on this is called a demi matte so it definitely does have a matte finish at the end. It's not um, it's not radiant, it's not super shiny, it's definitely not fully matte but it is somewhat matte and definitely more matte than a lot of the foundations out there. So I do like it for my skin because my skin is oily to combination so it does get oily and I do like matte foundations. So this foundation was excellent for that. I really like this foundation for like going out, like going out at night, going out, you know, um, outside of like work or anything like that. I do think it's very buildable and when you do build it up, it can look completely flawless. So if you're doing like a club night or you're doing like a wedding or even pictures, something you really want full coverage for, you definitely, definitely, definitely will love this because it does blend with the skin very nicely. It does claim to be oil free, which is fantastic for me. 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and come back later on at the end of the video and show you when I get back after a few hours out in the sun what it looks like on my face as you saw I did set my foundation with the powder from Mac and it's called select sheer press powder and the color I have it in is an NW43 I put that over when you first put that on it does kind of look a little chalky it does look a little white but it does settle into your face as you can see now it's kind of settled in and it definitely does give you a natural matte finish and you can kind of see that right here it's a very natural very pretty glow it retails for $38 and you can get it at the Mac store, you can get it at Macy's, you can get it at Nordstrom, um, you can get it at you know, a number of department stores. And if you don't want to commit to buying it, you can always go in and ask for a sample, have them put it on your face or just ask for one to take home and put it on yourself and see how you like it first before committing to buying it. If you guys have any questions about the foundation or about anything else, please let me know. But if you do not, big kisses to you all. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day. See you in the next video. Peace, love, and light.